Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. We have a young gentleman who presents to our office today with a cauliflower right on top of his left third toe. These are, you know, quite atypical. To prove it otherwise, it's a, it's a plantar, not plantar, dorsal wart. It's a wart. And, you know, we We've spoken uh, about it in the past. You know, we use a lot of the, the canthrone, the beetle juice, um, which is extremely effective. Also, the something that I, that I rarely perform is basically the the curatage, and then it's basically you know very traumatic. We, again, I've spoken about it before. It's very traumatic, especially for kids, young kids. The the curatage technique, where you have to numb. Um, at a, at a very young age, that can be extremely traumatic for for these uh, for these patients. Uh, this particular you know patient has had this uh, uh, cauliflower for several for we'll just say a very long time, um, and even even you know curetting this lesion is not going to really do a whole lot and. The truth is that I don't want to leave a hole on the top of the toe. There's unlike the the bottom of the foot where there's a lot of, we'll say, you know, fat tissue. There's a lot in between uh, the skin and the bone. Here, there is really not much. You know, once you know you cut the skin, right then you get uh, almost quickly down to the tendon and the bone. So we don't want to just excise and leave something open like we would, let's say, if we were to do something on the bottom of the foot. So without further ado, uh, again, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, excise, okay? We're gonna do what we call an elliptical uh, incision, okay? You know, again, we're just making our, going down to the base of the, of the lesion, kind of like that. On the other side. How you doing, patient? All good. Excellent. So, you now looking at it underneath, we want to make sure. Want everyone to take a look here, what it looks like underneath. Mom, you can come by if you'd like. Okay, that's what. That's what your son looks like inside. Cool. 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 Um, and then let me see, so everyone can actually see. So we're gonna come around this side now. And again, it's, it's an elliptical. Okay. A lot of pictures, a lot of video. Okay. So that's it. Here it is. It's a baby boy. There it is. Everyone, smile. Everyone. I got like four cameras. Okay. So, Caesar, come around, please. You know, so what are we looking for here? We're looking for a demarcation of, uh, again, good and bad. Okay. I'm just doing this. What I'm basically doing is um, releasing some of the some of the tissue so I have a little bit of more tissue to work with once I I go close and I close the
the incision, right? The tendon is right there. So we just we gotta be very, very careful, very mindful of all of the important structures around. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and stay right there. I'm just going to cauterize a little vessel here. Okay, the scutellum, you see that? So we'll go ahead and... This is what surgeons use. Something similar to that effect. Right? I don't see any verrucous type rucus type tissue there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the we're gonna close the, uh, the incision Sorry about that, uh, Caesar. You only want to grab skin. is actually suturing. I love to suture. After you go through residency, you sort of have to fend for, your, for yourself in respect to trying to do everything on your own, right? You want to come around, Caesar, with another? I always said suturing is an art. Patient, how you doing? Quite good. Don't really feel it. You do? No, I don't feel anything. Cool. Me neither. Again, very, uh, just very carefully. So the sutures will stay in for the sutures will stay in for about 14 days, 10 to 14 days. And just we'll put one more there and we're all set. Okay. 
can see that's really necessary, yeah. For anyone that's wondering, how do you suture? So this is how we do it. Um, we do one, two, you grab the end, and then you pull, and then that's it, right? Then you go once backward, and then one forward, and then one backward, backwards, and then one forward, and that's your suture. That's what we call a simple interrupted, uh, a simple interrupted suture. There. Schnitt. Schnitt, and we're done. Excuse me, what's that? Uh, so, again, um, everything looks great. Um, what's the important thing? I just want to be very, very clear. Um, I may see maybe a handful of these you know, these types of warts um, a year. So they're not very typical. These are atypical. Um, but, you know, again, I, I, I'm sure there are other clinicians, physicians that may have taken a different approach. Not all surgeons are created equal. So this particular case, just excise the lesion, send it for analysis, and that's it. And and the most important thing is to make sure that, you know, the wart is always on the top, then you have the root. Uh, make sure that there's no, there's no residual tissue once you remove it. That's why you gotta go all the way down. And if there is, then we have, that's when you go ahead and cauterize all that warty tissue. That's how we do it. You know, if anyone is wondering where is the blood, Voila! Patient has a tourniquet so that I can see what I'm doing. So it took us what? I don't know, 14, 15 minutes maybe? Um, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is watch this. Okay, so that everyone can see how the tourniquet works. Okay. And that should feel a whole lot better for the patient. Yeah. Yep. So I want everyone to look. There's a high, what we call a hyperemic response. You see. So all the t uh, all the other toes are are already red, and here comes the uh, here comes the blood. It's already moving in. You'll see it. Give it uh, about mm -hmm. 30 seconds, and you'll see the whole toe start to bleed. Hopefully. Okay, let me get it. Yeah, I feel, I feel like blood going to my throat. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so we'll just... Um, let's bring him uh, a little bit uh, down, please. Uh, this guy. So that's basically how we do it. That's an excision of a cauliflower slash wart. Perfect. Okay. Um, I just want to show the public. Um, come around here so you see how all of a sudden it just, the blood starts to kind of just move in quickly. Right? And then, even though it's blanching here, you already see that the blanching is disappearing. Cycle Bar have uh, an Instagram page or anything? Mm-hmm. Okay, what is it? CB Daily. You okay? C yeah, it just feels weird. Yeah, don't look. CB Daily? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give a plug out to uh, my 50,000, I think, subscribers almost. I want to give out uh, Cycle Bar for all you... Uh, individuals out there, weekend warriors, people that want to get in shape, uh, people that want to stay healthy, that are into cycling, 
Gary Miami, Cycle Bar, C Y C L E B A R, Instagram. Oh, D uh, Cycle Bar Davy, D A V I E. Uh, what's it? In Instagram? C B Davy. C B Davy. Instagram. Give them a uh, start following them, right? Great content. Okay. Send me the invoice. I'll send you the invoice. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Okay. So here, just come quickly. Okay. So there we have it. Okay. So we're just going to put a nice little bandage. Okay. And that's it. And we're done. As always, www.jawspedaichi.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojan, Jawspedaichi, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. I would like, uh, I would number one, like to thank the patient for allowing us to uh, to film this, so the world can actually, you know, uh, learn. You know, our goal at the core uh, is education, as everyone knows. So we will continue to educate the world one foot or one toe at a time. <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, you can't do this joke. Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, please remember, stay safe, use masks. Very important. Okay. Uh, we gotta go. Patient's feeling a little bit wheezy. Bye.